Welcome to Marisa. In our last video, we talked about pruning and how it helps improve the structure, health and productivity of your dragon fruit plant. We also recommended to use only sterilized or sanitized pruners to reduce the risk of spreading disease from plant to plant. Surgeons use sterilized tools such as scissors, surgical blades, knives or scalpels when they operate on you. In the same manner, you should use sterilized pruners when you prune your dragon fruit cacti or any other plant. After after all, plants are living things too. They could get sick and die, just like humans. In this video, we will talk about how to disinfect your pruning tools. The first step is to clean your tools with water. It is easier to disinfect your pruner when it is clean. Remove any dirt or grime on your tool. Use a forceful stream of water and if necessary, a scrubbing tool such as a stiff wire bristle brush or a scraping tool. After cleaning, you can disinfect your tools with one of the following. 1. Household Cleaners You can use commercial household cleaners such as Lysol, Pine Sol, Listerine, and Simple Green D to disinfect your pruners. They are relatively gentler on your skin and your tools compared to some of the other choices that we will be discussing in this video. You can mix them with water at a ratio of 1 to 5 to further reduce their corrosivity. To use, simply pour the cleaner of your choice into a small bucket and soak your pruner in it for a couple of minutes. 2. Disinfectant Wipes Check your local gardening stores for disposable disinfectant wipes, such as Benefect Botanical Disinfectant Wipes that you can use for gardening tools. General disinfectant wipes, such as Lysol or Clorox, can also be used. To use, simply wipe the tool thoroughly. Use as many wipes as required, then dispose of wipes after use. 3. Steam or dry heat. You can sterilize your pruning tools by heating them to 180 degrees to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 82 to 93 degrees Celsius for about half an hour. Simply place them on a stem basket cover and steam on the stove for 30 minutes. 4. 70% isopropyl alcohol. You can either wipe, spray, or dip in your tools with alcohol. There is no need to rinse your tools after. However, note that alcohol is flammable and should not be used around fire or a strong heat source. 5. Liquid Bleach Bleach is one of the most corrosive disinfectant around. It can cause damage to metal, rubber, plastic clothing, and other surfaces. It also gives off harmful fumes which can cause damage to your nose, throat, and lungs when inhaled. When you use this type of disinfectant, remember to wear protective masks and rubber gloves. To use, mix it with water at a ratio of 1 to 9. As with alcohol, you can either wipe, spray, or dip your tools with a mixture. Allow the mixture to drain off the rinse the tools in water and hung them to dry. 6. Hydrogen Peroxide If you see signs or symptoms of disease in your plants, we highly recommend using hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide can kill algae, fungus, bacteria, and spores immediately on contact. As with other disinfectant products, always read the labels, especially health warnings or precautionary statements before using hydrogen peroxide. Follow manufacturer's directions and warnings carefully. Hydrogen peroxide has other garden applications besides disinfecting pruning tools. Hydrogen peroxide can be used for pest control, root rot treatment, pre-treatment of seeds, foliar spray, and of course infection prevention. We will be talking more about these other garden uses of hydrogen peroxide in another video. Please subscribe now. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, you may also want to hit the notification bell so you'd get notified as soon as we post new videos. To summarize, here again are the six disinfectants you can use for your pruning tools. Household cleaners, disinfectant wipes, steam or dry heat, 70% isopropyl alcohol, liquid bleach, hydrogen peroxide, and again, remember to always carry with you a bucket or a small pail filled with disinfectants when you're pruning. This way, you can immediately disinfect either by dipping, wiping, or spraying your pruning tool after making each cut or before moving on to other plants. This ends our presentation for today. Thank you very much and have a nice day.